there's nothing more frustrating than a leaking pressure washer handle for two reasons. One, you'll also get wet aside from the surface you're trying to clean. And two, water pressure is decreased so much that you end up cleaning three times longer. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix a leaking pressure washer handle using two methods. And we're going to start right now. This entire assembly is called differently by different people. A pressure washer handle, a wand, a lance, a sprayer, a nozzle, or a gun. But no matter what you call it, don't you just hate it when it starts to leak? Today, I'm going to show you two ways to stop it from leaking. A quick fix and a permanent fix. So watch till the end of the video to learn both fixes. Now, regardless of what kind of fix matches your situation, both will still require you to locate the specific spot where the leak is coming from. In other words, the root cause of the leak. And that means opening up the assembly to see what's going on inside. Once open, the first thing you have to check is if there's any crack along any part where water passes through. Some cracks can be so tiny it's harder to spot. This is why I'm doing this under daylight. If you do find cracks, stop watching this video because you have zero chance to fix this and you'll have to replace the entire assembly. No use in patching cracks because the sheer water pressure will break apart your patch job in no time. Trust me, I tried before in many ways. They all didn't work. If you didn't find cracks, then congratulations! Your chances to fix the leak just rose up to 99.9%. .9%. So the next thing you have to check are the rubber o-rings. There should be two O-rings wrapped around on both ends of a small barrel connected to the trigger. This barrel lets pressurized water pass through every time you press the trigger. On the other hand, the O-rings prevent water from running through when the trigger is depressed. Over time, these O-rings become brittle or worn out, which dramatically weakens their water stopping power. But I find no cracks nor worn out O-rings in this one. So where's the leak coming from? To see where water actually seeps out, we'll do an actual test. We'll connect the pressure washer hose to the stem and connect everything else. Then we'll turn on the faucet. And whatever you do, do not turn on the pressure washer itself. That would be dangerous. Okay, now that water is flowing, it's easier to see exactly where it goes when I join all these inside parts. And will you look at that, the leak is actually coming from the spot between the hose and the stem, and nowhere near the barrel. If we look at the tip of the hose more closely, it has an indentation where an o-ring is missing. Actually, I found the o-ring off camera, but only half of it. It means the other half must have disintegrated a long time ago. No wonder the leak was that bad. And if you're wondering, the larger indentation farther down does not need an o-ring. It's actually the locking mechanism that joins this hose to the handle's inner stem. Pushing this button allows the hose tip to be inserted inside the stem, and releasing it locks the hose in place. Since we know now what's causing the leak, we can definitely fix it. And method one is the quick fix. We wrap thread seal tape, or commonly known as Teflon tape, around the indentation where an o-ring is supposed to be. And why would you go for a quick fix over a permanent fix, you may ask? Well, this is a lifesaver when you can't find a replacement o-ring right away, and you are in the middle of a pressure washing job that can't be postponed. How hard is it to find a replacement o-ring? Watch till the end, and you won't believe where I actually got the right o-ring for my pressure washer. Okay, let's put this Teflon tape fix to the test.
huh, still leaking. You know what that means? More Teflon. Okay, test number two. And I can tell you right now, I'm feeling the water pressure compared earlier. And look, no more leaking. But a real test is a test with the pressure washer on. So let's reassemble everything. And I gotta be honest, it's so much harder putting the assembly back together. One, we have to align the parts to the respective slots. And two, the spring in the stem is creating an outward tension that makes it difficult to hold everything together all at once. And with a lot of wiggling and a lot of patience, the parts begin to cooperate. Quickly now, let's replace the cover and screw everyone in before they all change their minds. Don't forget to pull the trigger a few times to make sure the entire assembly is functioning properly. Let's put back the screws in a crisscross pattern to make sure we mount the cover even. Okay, let's pull the trigger a few more times. Good. Alright, let's mount our Teflon taped hose to the wand assembly and make sure everything is snugged into place. Let's turn on the faucet and just the faucet for now and test. Okay, I do see a small drip coming from the handle. Will the drip get stronger if we test with the pressure washer on? Let's test it now. Okay, with the pressure washer on, the drip became a little bit faster, but nowhere near the leak you saw in the beginning of this video. So I say, this is a rather successful quick fix. And obviously, this should only be temporary because the Teflon will give way after a few hours of use. And that's speaking from experience. Now, let me show you the permanent fix. Look closely zero leak anywhere. The solution is obvious now. We used a proper o-ring instead of teflon tape. But the real question is, where did I buy this replacement o-ring? You would probably guess from the same store where I purchased a pressure washer or any store that sells pressure washers, right? Wrong. Turns out they don't sell o-rings off the shelf. They told me I can place a special order, but it would take at least two weeks and there's no guarantee. Well, I just don't have the time and patience to wait that long. And so, I set the entire pressure washer in the back of the car and went around the neighborhood to go on an O-ring treasure hunt. And you know where I eventually found one that's a perfect fit? From an auto supply or auto parts store. Yep, seriously, an auto supply store. And it only costs 10 pesos a piece, so I bought 5 in case I run into the same situation in the future. Now that our pressure washer is back to 100% performance, we can certainly wash another day. This is Handyman007. Thanks for watching, and you can do this.